Hi, I'm Caroline Weaver from Body and Soul Companion. You are on the last week of Jesus' public ministry, week 26, day 3. And we are going to be looking at blind Bartimaeus in Mark 10. And this is the one I've done the most of any imaginative contemplation. I do this every year with a group of... Um, it's called the Second Half Collaborative. It's uh, it's a lovely 10-month cohort situation. I just lead one of the cohorts. There's usually three cohorts. And um, I lead on our first retreat. We have three retreats during the year. And this on Blind Bartimaeus is the one I do. because And also, this is one I do a lot with my directees. Because a lot of times we don't know what we want. And so it's a, it opens up a dialogue about what we want. Uh, you know, Jesus says to blind Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? So hopefully you'll encounter Jesus in this. I invite you to close your eyes. To breathe slowly. And to recenter your scattered senses on the presence of God. Find a comfortable spot. Position your body so that you're alert. But relaxed. With each exhale, just breathing out any tension in your body that's built up over the day. And also any distractions that have built up over the day. I invite you to just give whatever is burdening you over to the Lord. He wants to receive your burdens because he cares for you. And then with your eyes fixed on him, become aware of his presence with you and receive his loving gaze upon you. Lord, we pray that more of our day would be directed to your service and praise. And Lord, we seek the grace to see you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly as we look at the story of blind Bartimaeus. Mark 10, 46 through 52. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a large crowd, a beggar who was blind, named Bartimaeus, was sitting by the road. And when he heard that it was Jesus the Nazarene, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. 
Many were sternly telling him to be quiet, but he kept crying out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him here. So they called the man who was blind, saying to him, Take courage, stand up. He is calling to you. And throwing off his cloak, he jumped up and came to Jesus. And replying to him, Jesus said, What do you want me to do for you? And the man who was blind said to him, Master, I want to see. And Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. And immediately he regained his sight and began following him on the road. So see this scene in your mind's eye. Jesus and the crowd are leaving Jericho. And there is a beggar on the side of the road. Who are you in this scene? You might be Bartimaeus. So when we get to the sensing and seeing in the scene, sensing part, you won't be able to see. You might be someone in the crowd or a disciple. Whoever you are in this scene, be there. You're leaving Jericho. Look around you at the buildings you're leading, leaving. Look at the dusty road. Look at your feet on the dusty road. You're wearing sandals. How does it feel to be on the dusty road or beside the dusty road? What is the temperature today? How does it feel on your skin? Look up at the sky. Is it cloudy or sunny? What are you wearing? Feel the touch of the cloth on your skin. Listen to the sound of the crowd. Jesus is walking and leaving Jericho. What they, might they be saying? Look where Jesus is and where Bartimaeus is. sitting on the road. And where are you? Again, if you're Bartimaeus, adapt this so it works for you. So Bartimaeus has found out through the murmurs in the crowd that Jesus is passing how does this affect him? What do you think Bartimaeus has heard about Jesus since he's very far into his public ministry? News about him has traveled all over. What would he have heard? Maybe he heard 
about Jesus healing the man who has been blind since birth. How would that affect Bartimaeus? Try to feel what he might be feeling. And then hear him cry out, Son of David, Jesus, have mercy on me. Then hear the crowd tell him to be quiet, or maybe you're one of the people. Shh, shh. What do you do in that scene? No matter how much the crowd is saying, shh, be quiet, he shouts even louder, Son of David, have mercy on me. What do you feel when you hear that? And then look at Jesus and see him become aware of blind Bartimaeus. What does he do? What's the look on his face? Then hear him say, call him here. And hear the crowd say to Bartimaeus, take courage, stand up. He's calling you. See him throw off his cloak. And if you're Bartimaeus, feel the cloak come off your body. And jumping up and going to Jesus. What does that look like? If you're blind Bartimaeus, how does it feel to go to Jesus as quickly as you can, even though you're blind? Watch Jesus as the blind man comes closer. What's the expression on his face? And then hear Jesus say, what do you want me to do for you? And hear Bartimaeus give his reply. Master, I want to see. What's the expression on Bartimaeus' face when he says that? What do you think he's feeling? And if you're Bartimaeus, feel what he might be feeling. And then hear Jesus say with full authority, go, your faith has made you well. What's the expression on Jesus' face when he says that? And then look at the expression on the blind man's face as immediately his sight returns. What is the expression? And if your sight is returning and you're the blind man, what do you see when you first open, your eyes are first opened? You see Jesus' face. See Jesus' face. See the blind man's face. See the connection. How do Jesus and Bartimaeus now look at one another? How are they feeling? How are you feeling?
now. Go to Jesus yourself. Let him look at you. See his face. Receive his gaze at you. What's the expression on his face? As he says, What do you want me to do for you? Take your time, and when you are ready, give him your answer. Be honest with him, and have a conversation, and let Jesus respond to you in whatever way he wishes. Keep looking at Jesus. And stay with him outside Jericho as long as you want. Be blessed.